If this is your first time tuning in, I want to thank you for finding my channel. What my channel's been about lately, as the music has been picking up, as we all are going outside, things are starting to turn up. I'm starting to do instant reaction to albums as they release. You know, they come out Friday at midnight. I try my best to stay up, you know, listen to the album, then record and edit and upload it that night. But sometimes I be falling asleep. Today, I'm drinking my coffee at 10 o'clock at night, and I'm like, ugh. It's gonna be a long ass night, but it's Tyler the Creator, so it's worth it. So, before I get into this album review, let me know in the comment section, what is your guys' favorite Tyler the Creator album? Because for me personally, out of all his albums, I've liked the majority of them besides I want to say Cherry Bomb was the one I liked the least, but Wolf has been my favorite. I like all of them for different type of reasons, so let me know in the comment section before we even start talking about this new album and the new project that he just dropped. Let me know what your favorite Tyler the Creator project is. Mine is Wolf. Now, when I first, so when I'm listening to these instant reactions, I only listen to the song once, and as we know, for some people, whether it's four seconds, 30 seconds, a minute, some people are not going to give a song the full listen through and that's just how they interpret and, and take in music and you got to accept that that's just how some people do it but for me I listen to the album all the way through we even have some weird people that be shuffling the album when they first listen to it and listen to it it's disrespectful to the artist when you think about it but besides all that I'm just letting you know how I listen to it and while I'm listening to it I have notes I type either on my computer or on my phone while I'm listening to it like did I like this did I like that I didn't like that and as you know cuz it's an hour long of listening you're not gonna remember every single thing you do if you wait to the end and try and interpret it like that I don't want to act like I'm giving you guys an instant reaction and then I have to go back and listen to the song because I forgot what I was listening to so that's why I have notes that I'd be writing for the songs but I've gotten enough about the background and how to get into it now I'm gonna start talking about the album so he dropped a single lumberjack and for me I try not to listen to the single because I want to listen to the album all the way through but Tyler the creator he's been one of my favorite artists so I did listen to Lumberjack beforehand so be forewarned there and while you're watching this video if you enjoy the analysis that I'm giving or if you just enjoy the vibe that you're getting please be sure to like and then you subscribe and then you can also comment with the question that I asked earlier so I'm gonna go song by song I'm not gonna do interludes and I'm not gonna do things that are like 30 seconds so if you see that and you see why I'm not talking about it it, that's why but the intro song I'm probably gonna pronounce this wrong sir Baudelaire if you've been watching my channel a lot of these intros like Migos dropped Avalanche there's just there's been a lot of good intros being dropped and Tyler dropped the ball in his intro but I do also know when you get into a Tyler album he wants to get you into the vibe not every song what I love about Tyler and what I hate about other artists he makes an album to make a cohesive album a lot of artists make a bunch of different songs that somewhat sound a little bit different but you know they just want to make the top 100 and that's why I appreciate Tyler and appreciate what his music is and what how he goes about his music but let's just be honest this intro wasn't that great it was forgettable I'm gonna move on from it when I listen to the album front to back am I gonna skip it no but it's not a song I'm gonna go out of my way to listen to but then we get in the course so there is nothing to say this I like I just I knew once I started hearing this, I was like, okay, this, we're getting into Tyler. He's rapping. Cause you don't know what you're going to get into with Tyler. Like Igor was a complete different project. Cherry Bomb was a different project. He always has a different vibe for whatever time he's in. But this Corso, he has DJ drama in the background. And it was just, it was some good rapping. It was just an overall good song. It's not one of the best songs to me after listening through everything, but it's definitely a song I would go out of my way to listen to. So you know it's in the upper echelon of the songs on this album so yeah tyler had a good number two song with corso now lemonhead this might be me critiquing the critique a little more because i hold tyler to a higher standard but after listening through everything when i wrote on my notes on my song i was like i don't hate it but it's not something i see myself going directly back to after listening through the whole project i do think it's one of the bottom tier songs on the album if i had to pick a song or a few to skip it would probably be lemonhead honestly it didn't stand out to me don't get me wrong you hear me saying two of the first three songs are not that great but when when you get to the complete and the full body of 
work, you're gonna understand that I love this album. I love this project. This is just off the first listen. Like I'm gonna listen to this after I finish recording this, editing, uploading it again. That's how much I like it. Even I even might re-listen to it before I listen to Doja Cat the first time. That's how much I like this album. So just be forewarned before you hear me talking about how I didn't love Lemonhead. Now the song after that was called What's Your Name, and to me one of my favorite songs on the album i don't really get into the ranking this is my favorite this that and the other unless one completely completely stood out like how avalanche did for migos but for me one of the best songs I'm not gonna say it's the best on the album but definitely one of the best songs on the album that's all i gotta say listen to it it's really good lumberjack he released it as a single so most of us you've probably already heard it so me you know doubling down on it it was definitely worthy of a single the thing i like about tyler is he has so many different styles he has so many different flows and now as i feel as he's gotten older and gotten better at his craft and worked on it over all these years He's just, you can hear the maturity in his voice and it's good to hear. It's like a lot of people, they hate when they're one of some of their favorite artists get older and they're like, this is one who I wanted to listen to. This is what isn't who I wanted him to become and stuff like that. I, I always think that's a little weird because you're projecting, but hearing Tyler from Bastard to now, it's just like, damn man, you've really grown. And it's just, it's good to, it's good to see. Now, Hot Wind Blows, that to me might be the best production on the album. It was just, I, you know, it's hard on the first listen if the production is that good to hear the, all the lyrics or whatever to the song but when it was that good i'm gonna have to listen to it again but i was just blown away by the production on hot wind blows <laughs> now massa now massa as we know Tyler used to be way more silly in his music. He's still gonna be silly somewhat in his songs and master was somewhat, but still a good song. I, I chuckled a few times while listening to it cause you know, Tyler's just a funny ass nigga. So sometimes I'm gonna laugh, but master, another good song. Like he just had a chain of just like bang, hit after hit after hit. So let's see if it continues. Run it up, okay. See, I was talking about that chain of good songs but then we get to run it up and for me this might be my least favorite song on the album it's just it wasn't for me the thing is when i say this song isn't for me there's gonna be somebody in the comment section saying run it up it's fire what the hell are you talking about i know man I, like i said when it comes to tyler sometimes i feel like i might be more critical of him of others but when you're that talented it is what it is but yeah that song wasn't for me manifesto <sighs> see so i've like i said i've listened to tyler for probably a decade now so odd future if you knew him and domo genesis almost every song they've gotten on together like whole city behind us or supermarket they've had really good chemistry you just know like they bounce off each other well and manifesto was the same thing as that it made me like i don't miss odd future because if they were all in their late 20s doing what they were doing in their early 20s it wouldn't have been what it was like they would have had to grow or adapt it wouldn't have been the same thing but i wish them as artists would be in their music together more is what i would you know want i don't you know i'm not trying to force a group on the people but i wish they featured each other on their songs more often and then we get to sweet i thought she wanted to dance every tyler album has a song that's at least like seven to nine minutes that's like a one song then it's another song like party isn't over camp Fimer and bimmer off of wolf like tyler always has these songs and when i first was listening to it i was like hmm i don't know i don't know then i was like okay it's getting good it's getting better then when he switches it up i was just like yeah i like it I, I know i'm gonna end up playing this and just like sitting back and relax but as i give that critique of that song there's many of people that are gonna listen to the first 30 seconds and just turn it off or skip it and i understand that i give if it's an artist i like i at least try and listen to it once and even if it's an artist i'm trying to listen to for the first time i try at least listen to sun all the way through unless it's like a minute and a half in and i'm still like the fuck am i listening to that's when i 
that's when I understand the skipping, but like 30 seconds that people be doing, I'm like, you're ridiculous. So Rise, I wouldn't say is in the upper echelon of the other songs, but it's definitely a good song. It's a song I would go out of my way to listen to, but there's so many songs that I like, or I say that's my favorite, that I can't just say Rise is as well. But a very good song, and nothing wrong with it. Juggernaut, now, just like Jamba or other Ratchet songs that he has, Meet Me at the Lake with Analog, you know, Tyler has a few songs where he has a different style. And when I first was listening to it, I was like, is he finally going to miss with this? But then when he had the features of Uzi, I was just like, I'm an Uzi fan. So it made me like the song a little bit more. And I just had it. I just knew that Tyler is doing this stuff in the right hands. Besides Run It Up for me, like I feel like he's done everything. He's done everything that he has when he was younger, but he's doing it in a more, not better way, but in a different way that's also good. So you know he's getting better at his game. But then we have Will Shy and Tyler you know like how he did with Lone or he does at the end of Goblin where he just starts talking about his life or a certain period or what's going on he did it with this song but I felt like if this song was four to five minutes I would like it more but the fact that it was seven minutes it started to drag on and I feel like this is not one of those story songs that I'm end up going back to maybe because what the story he was going through like he was talking to some girl that had a nigga and they were still you know talking and trying to get with each other just it just I understand Tyler's good at the storytelling and do that but that's not a story I'm trying to hear repeatedly if that makes sense but it's a good song but it's not something I'm gonna come back to that often then he ends the album with Safari which is more so like a 45 seconds to a minute of him rapping but more so the other person on the song talking his shit for him you know talking about how good he is and how, what place he is in life it's a song you listen to when you listen to the album front to back but when you get to it just on a playlist you might not put it on because you're only getting a minute of play so it is what it is it's an outro song so i'm not judging it like i judge the others it's just it's an outro song so there you have it i gave my instant reaction to tyler the creator call me if you get lost now if you want me to talk about how i feel about this overall album i don't usually like to give ratings or say it's an instant classic or say anything like that but it's definitely been the best project that I've listened to this year for me personally. I just, I like the cohesiveness. I like the idea. I, the fact that it was longer than others, but it didn't feel longer. It was better to me because a lot of people, like I say, that Migos album, it was good, but it was too long. And I feel like a lot of artists and a lot of people are doing that today. Or if your album is long, then have some songs that are shorter. I know he had that one song that's long, but majority of the other song were a good link. There was good vibes. It was just the other thing I want to say is he took a few years to make. He takes years to build what he wants to do next. Sometimes it's a two, sometimes it's three, but it's not releasing an album or releasing a project every year. I feel like when you do that, it's good when you're young, up and coming and hungry, but at a certain point, Take some time, reflect, work on your craft, get better with the music. And I feel Tyler, the creator is the epitome of that. This project is excellent. Like I said, when I'm done editing, uploading and doing what I need to do, I'm going to listen to it again. That's how much I like it. I'm like I said, what do you guys, is your favorite song off this project? Do you agree with my assessments? Do you think I was a little bit harsh on Run It Up? Or do you think Lemonhead was better than how I said? Or do you agree with some of the songs that I said that I'm going to go back and listen to? I just... It was just an album that I'm, it made me excited for music that we're going to get the rest of the year with Kendrick, Drake, and others if people have been working on their craft in the pandemic like this. But as you know, Chris, Chris, I'm going to give you the news whenever the news is there. If the news isn't there, or I'm going to give you hip-hop news or hip-hop instant reaction to albums that are dropping, or I can give you movie updates. That's why you need to make sure you subscribe, turn the notification bell for all my videos so you can like and participate in the comment section. This Chris, Chris, I'm out this month. Fuck.